Hello, Stacy. My name is Sean Everett, and I am the website analysis expert over at Zucor Marketing. Thank you so much for talking with Jeff. He sent your website over to me for analysis, so here we go. Um, first off, I got to say, it's a, a beautiful website. Uh, coming up, though, there's something that just gives me the willies. It's not him, it's him. Oh my God, it makes my. <laughs> It makes my thighs hurt. I don't want to be up that high without any sort of, oh, I don't know. It's a height thing. And, and you know what? I have no problem flying, but anyway. Um, you have a beautiful website. But I'm really not here for the beauty of the website because the website is kind of like a beautiful car. If it's beautiful enough, people will want to get in it. And that's exactly what people will do when they get here. Getting them here is the issue that I want to talk to you about today, and that's what my analysis is all about because what you have in your website is exactly what is needed to get people here, and you need to do some tweaks in order to get more people to your website. And I'm going to show you everything I do in this in this analysis. Now, the first thing I do is I go and I check up your, uh, your stats over here on my paid uh, tool. It's called Ahrefs. And it gives me a lot of the metrics of your site, uh, how it's been performing and whatnot. Now, the second thing I do is I go and I do a Google search of St. Louis, Missouri roofers. And uh, I can tell you that um, Google has a very interesting way of doing things. Uh, they have an algorithm that determines the placement of absolutely everything on their website. Now, uh, that goes from these paid areas up here on the top to here, which is what we call the map pack. Now the map pack is so named because it is uh, attached to this map. Now the very top one here is sponsored, meaning they paid to be there, but you can get there without paying them. And uh, the simple way of doing it is by filling out a Google business profile. Now, uh, a lot of people try that on their own and it's definitely something you could do on your own. Uh, but generally, uh, it, it would take some expertise and some uh, experience to, to make sure that it's filled out sufficiently that you get way up here to the top, which is exactly where you want to be. Because uh, the closer you are to the top of a Google search, the more likely somebody is to, to click on your link. Now, underneath the map pack is what we call the organic search results. And that's right here. And the very first one that comes up that's an actual roofer is St. Louis Roofing Company. Now, I'm going to refer to them as your Google competitor. Uh, there's their website. Um, wow, that's a big industrial thing also. Uh, you guys are doing some industry clearly also, but a lot of uh, uh, homes too, which is nice that you have those featured. Um, and let me just look here just for a second. Um, yeah, you know what? Uh, I have gone this far and I haven't found you yet. And and uh, that will explain some of the metrics that I found. Um, most people who are, you know, looking for a roofer will have uh, a Starbucks in one hand and the mouse in the other. And they're not going to go this far down to find somebody. So you are losing money by not competing in the Google world. And I'll show you how that's done. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is take your site, and I'm going to cut and paste all of it into this word counter that I have here. You have 697 words. I'm going to do the same for them. Copy and paste. They have 683 words. So the difference is almost negligible, but you win by a small margin. However, Google loves content. That's one of the ways to get listed higher in their search results. And content is king. So uh, uh, you want to have 1,500 words. The Google algorithm is not a secret. It's something that we know. It's something that has been analyzed over the years. And it's pretty simple to figure out what people want if you have the right tools. And I do with this one. Now, all words are not equal. So let me show you what I'm talking about. On your website, you have 17 keywords. Now, keywords are the words that one might expect when you go to a website for a roofer, like gable or soffit or, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, 
I don't know, flat roof. I, I'm not in the industry, so you're gonna have to you're gonna have to fill in those yourself. But you have only 17 keywords now. Keywords are created when Google takes all of the search, uh, uh, all of the search results, goes to each one of those sites, strips out all the words, and then counts them all and sees which one appears most, and then second most, and so on and so on. Now those become the keywords. So Google has an expectation about what your keywords are going to be. You have 17, as I mentioned, and St. Louis Roofing has 278. So you are a little behind there. Uh, you can bring this number up easily because you know what all those words are. Uh, flat roof companies near me. This is their keywords that they have on their site. St. Louis Commercial Roofing, Roofing St. Louis, uh, St. Louis, Missouri Roofing Contractor, and companies, and uh, contractors, and company. Because uh, they, the Google algorithm doesn't know the difference between singular and plural. So that's something that has to be spelled out for it. Plus all the other words that are used in your industry beyond just looking for a roofer in St. Louis, in St. Louis like gutters or, or insulation, all that stuff that people might ask about. Those are what you need on your site for your keywords. Now, number two coming up is the backlinks. And a backlink is where... Somebody has a link to your site and uh, it, it links back to you. It's on their site, the link, but it's back to you. So, for instance, uh, uh, Angie's List or Yellow Pages. Let me show you. You have 36. They have 153. So you're about five times behind them. Here we go. Uh, they are on homestead.com, yellowpages.com. And those I mentioned first because they're listed first because they're the highest rated sites here. 91 and 90. Angie's List is also rated at a 91. You want anything that is highly rated. If you zoom down to the bottom, look, uh, for MissouriLovers.com, uh, apparently people don't go there looking for a roofer. They're rated at a zero. So um, you want to stay in, in the high ones here. Um, and uh, it's not hard to do. I mean, it, you can Google and find out what your site your competitors are on. It's pretty simple. And then you want to get on those sites. A lot of these sites, you just have to, with the exception of Angie's List, which is paid, you just have to go there and fill out a profile, sort of like the Google Business Profile, and then you can get on this list. And that's exactly what you want. Now, here's what I'm going to show you. Their backlinks and their keywords have given them prime uh, 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 area here in the, in the very first one here. Now, if they filled out a Google business profile, it is likely they would be here too, if they did it correctly. You can be in both places. And both of those have resulted in this. Their traffic last month, meaning the number of people that clicked on their sites was 602. Now, here's how many clicked on your site, 39. In other words, they had 15 times more opportunities to have Somebody uh, uh, asked for an estimate to become a potential customer and to put money in their pocket. My tool right here rates all of these clicks uh, at roughly $7,000 per. Now, obviously, every click is not going to become a, a, a customer, but that's why this number is, is what it is and not, you know, 602 something or other. They figure that uh, based upon all of the other metrics of all the other sites in your area because they do you know measure against all the other sites in your area that that that's what that's worth now your 39 uh is only valued at a dollar or 158 dollars a click so um it would be in your best interest to to get higher on the google site and the on the google search results because it's literally money that you are competing for on a google search and you can do it by changing a few things inside of your website. Now, um, I'm sure that you would rather spend more time uh, freaking me out and standing on the edge of a roof somewhere that, that gives me the willies than digging around in the uh, middle of your website for you know what these keywords are and the backlinks and filling out your Google business profile. Uh, and that's where I hope you'll give Eric a call because he can certainly uh, walk you through the next steps of getting that done and getting more money in your pocket. Uh, I hope I've been helpful. Either way, I hope I will improve your site somehow. Uh, thanks for watching. You have a great day.